morning, afternoon, whatever time it is. Well, this is how it works. There's your the lever. That just puts more fuel into it when you're riding. Obviously the gauge. And then this bracket, that's what you get from Daryl. You can buy the unit, you can buy a double bracket that's got a, a rev counter on it as well. So you can see what happens uh, with that. But when you're riding along, all you need to do is just put the thumb choke on and it'll drop it by about 20 degrees. Well, on a cast barrel, which is yours, you're looking at about 370 for it to nip up. So when you're riding along and it's getting up to about 320, 340, you just put that on and it'll drop it back down 20 degrees. You'll still be riding and it won't affect your riding. It just richens up the cylinder and cools everything down. Um, I'll show you the head in a minute and, uh, and how it's rooted and where it fits. Okay, here we go. You can see the cutout that I've put in. But don't touch the skirt where the spark plug goes. That's so that the connector, uh, which is like a big earth strap, sits in the between the spark plug and the cylinder head. And then the cable comes out and then it goes onto the plug. You will need the extension plug. The extension plug's about 15, 16 quid, but Daryl's got all the bits. Um, the other thing is that you'll need to go around the connector that fits in the hole uh, so that it freely the spark plug goes in and out freely uh, around in and out through the connector um, but that's it Al that's the mod you have to do onto the head um, this is an old head I don't, I'm using a mammoth one now so anyhow hope that helps I would not ride without it now uh, I'm convinced it's saved so many nip-ups when you're getting up to 300, certainly on the cast barrel, you know, 350, you know, 360, stick it on, it'll drop it down another uh, 20 degrees or something like that, and you know you're in the safe zone, you know that it's not going to seize up and you're not going to blow it up. Anyhow, bye for now.